So let's create a, a tolerancing scheme for this part and just dimension a few features. Uh, to do this, we're going to go ahead and use a simplified version, just like we did on the other one. We, this, we don't need to use the diecast version. This is for a prototype. And we're going to use Dim Expert. Now, Dim Expert is in every license of SolidWorks. And we're adding dimensions to the 3D model the same way you might add just a smart dimension or reference dimension in a drawing. These are not tied to the features in the sketches. You can use those, but for, for Dim Expert, it never does. It's always pure geometry, which is also what makes it nice for things like imported models quickly adding dimensions to them does a nice job of helping you to create a drawing. So let's set up our datums. So th this thing mounts first on this face. So we're going to use that as our first datum. And it recognizes it as a plane. It could recognize it as a width feature. A width feature would be, let's say you have a symmetric part and you're clamping it on both sides. The width feature would say the center or the datum is the center of my part, wherever that ends up once you sort of clamp both sides. Um, you could also create a compound plane if there was some kind of a break on this face and two separate faces were effectively treated as one face, that would be a compound plane. All faces that you may assume are actually related would be explicitly related in a compound plane. So uh, Dim Expert and model-based definition give you a lot more clarity uh, about exactly what's going on, so you don't assume so much. It also makes it easier when you have entities where the, the leader lines are basically overlapping each other. This makes it very explicit because it's attached directly to it. For the secondary datum, we'll grab this guy right here. That's where the bearing is, and that bearing is going to tightly hold the shaft, which is controlling the orientation of everything. So those are our two datums. That's coming in as a cylinder, and all I want to do is add just a handful of dimension uh, for these features. Uh, if you hit all features, it's going to create a ton of dimensions. Some of them you maybe didn't want, so just be careful. You can try it, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to click this hole. It comes in as a hole pattern, which is good, right? Similar to how my center mark lines uh, connected them in the drawing. This is connecting them explicitly by selection. I also want to pick up this face right here. This face is going to hold the other side of the bearing. So that's important to know where it sits and, and, and where it needs to be. This mates up to the next part below it, right? Kind of slides down in it and, and locates it a little bit there. And then this face is the face that's going to be holding uh, that threaded tube for our actuator. So we got three different or four different things. Uh, all set up. I'm going to click OK and we get some dimensions. 